Hi beautiful people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and this is a really quick no makeup video and a little anecdote for any one of you that is feeling unhappy in your own skin because I have felt that way for most of my adult life and um, the irony is it's took till I'm nearly 50 to get to a point where I am quite okay with going out into the world without a scrap of makeup and facing it confidently, albeit a bit ropey. <laughs> And um, I never thought there'd ever be a time in my life where I would make a video without a scrap of makeup on that had the potential to go around the world through the, the joy that is YouTube. But um, I was prompted to make this video because I was given a compliment the other day when someone I was working alongside realised that I'd just turned 49 and they said, blimey, you look really good for it. You don't look your age at all. And I said, well, thank you for that. But uh, my husband says it's false advertising <laughs> because when I'm obviously out taking a funeral service and certainly when I'm taking a wedding ceremony, the way I present myself to the world around me is very different to the world I, the way I present myself at home because I come home the big socks come on the dressing gown comes on the makeup comes off and I do love to be in my pajamas at home and I spend most of my time looking like I need to be scrubbed in disinfectant <laughs> dear oh but I was reminded that while I don't intentionally take my beautiful husband Jay for granted it's very liberating to find someone who you can be with that you can just be your completely authentic self that you don't have to have a face full of makeup or a certain figure type to be loved or cherished that person loves you for who you are but equally it is up for us ultimately to decide whether we are happy in our own skin we can't allow the considerations or opinions of others to define how we feel about ourselves, and that's a very difficult and dodgy ground especially if you have been or are in a relationship where the person that you are connected with makes you feel bad about yourself or the friendships that you've had have made you feel bad about yourself or inadequate and there's lots of that stuff that can impact the way that we feel but we have the power to define whether we leave those things in the past or whether we bring them into our future and um, the irony is, is I've just got to the point as I say where I am really happy in my own skin and now I've got uh, much more a lot more wrinkles than I used to and my hair's a lot thinner than it used to be and my eyelashes are falling out courtesy of crazy menopausal hormones and I'm getting a lot more aches and pains than I used to and um, while that can be a little bit depressing um, conversely I'm also reminded especially doing my work in the funeral industry that age is a privilege denied to so many people and do you know what there has never been a time when I've been with any of my grieving families where they've ever talked about how amazing their loved one's hair extensions were or how that person always rocked an amazing suntan or wore the very best designer clothes it's always the character of the person the way the person loved cared the way they were a friend those are the things that are remembered so if you're feeling unhappy in your own skin certainly if you are dealing with a significant illness my heart goes out to you because there are things in life that we cannot do anything about but there are also a lot of things that we can do we can more often than not eat a bit better exercise a little more try and sleep a bit better try not to absorb ourselves with watching a lot of stuff on social media that just makes us feel less than we are already and i've got to be honest with you i am all for um trying to better ourselves and um to just look after ourselves more but equally all this tosh about be the best version of you live the best life you can all of that stuff is exhausting <laughs> and it just keeps you on this hamster wheel that you can't get off and I, I've got to say I really worry about the uh, the new generation because I think we live in an increasingly shallow world and it is very difficult to keep up with it so don't don't keep up with it find happiness in your own skin that is all that matters and um, amazingly or not uh, 
people are never as interested in you or bothered as you think they are <laughs> and a lot of the stuff you worry about doesn't even get noticed so take the pressure off yourself um, remember if you are overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can we all deserve to lead a clutter free life physically and emotionally and if no one else tells you today let me be the first to tell you that you are special you are beautiful you are unique there will only ever be one of you and you are good enough as you are and now as always massive love and i'm going to go and get a cup of tea